Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 and Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25236. This build doesn't come with a lot of interesting features, but it has a few hidden features that we're going to talk about in this video. And of course, I'm going to give you references on how to enable those and stuff like that. Before talking about anything, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel if you enjoy videos like these where we talk about new Windows 11 and Insider preview builds. So first of all, in this build, Microsoft is trying to improve the value of search shortcuts and reduce friction in the broader Windows search experience and they are trying out different ways to provide tips on how to use Windows search via the taskbar. This will only be available to some English speaking Windows insiders in the US. I think this is quite interesting and could be useful for some people. Also if you haven't noticed since the last build we have a hidden feature that can be enabled and of course you're going to have an article below in the video's description on how to enable that and that is the task manager search box or search in the task manager. You can now search into the task manager as easy as that. You just need to type a process name or a PID and you will find it as easy as that. This is really cool. This is not officially announced by Microsoft, but it is a hidden feature that will be announced in the next few builds, we hope. Also another hidden feature that you can enable, and I'm going to make a different video on how to enable that, is energy recommendations that will be added in settings and power. Recommendations include turning off your screen saver, turning off the screen after three minutes, and turning on dark mode. Shout out to Phantom Ocean 3 for discovering this. And also in this build we have a Microsoft Store update that of course you can install by going into the Microsoft Store and then library and then click on get updates. The update code is 2221014001. And what you'll be able to encounter in this new Microsoft Store update, you'll be able to discover and redeem offers available with your new PC directly from the library. Also, they improve the search card results while scrolling UX with an optimized layout and rendering architecture for search card results to provide a much smoother scrolling and resizing experience especially on low-powered devices. As I've said, just wait a bit for the updates to be downloaded and the Microsoft Store should be updated as well. This is all there is to it in this build regarding changes and improvements, but of course, we also have a lot of fixes. So we have fixes regarding the narrator. They fix the issue causing natural voices such as Guy or Jenny to not speak in the narrator. Now regarding the taskbar and system tray, they fix an issue where if you open the hidden icons flyout, it caused a file explorer entry for it to appear in the taskbar. And also they fix an issue that was causing the taskbar previews to freeze or show as blank and not open when using the Windows key plus the key commands to try and switch between windows. Also, the show hidden icons flyout in the system tray should now responsively resize with changes again to prevent empty spaces and columns. They fixed multiple issues related to the taskbar which were impacting explorer.exe reliability. They also fixed an issue that was causing the volume icon in the system tray to incorrectly show as muted. Also, a GDI handle leak related to updating the notification center icon in the taskbar which would eventually lead to an explore.exe crash for people who received a large number of notifications was fixed and also the narrator will now announce the pinned and unpinned status of apps in the taskbar. Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue which was making file explorer crash when closing tabs for some people. They also made another fix for an issue which could cause errant divider lines in file explorer's navigation pane. Now regarding the settings app, they made a change to hide the battery graphs on power and battery paid if a UPS is connected as the capacity information it displayed in that case was incorrect. Also, if you don't have a kiosk set up, they updated the text on accounts and other users and then kiosk to make it clearer, you need to do that so it doesn't appear to be a dead end. They also fixed an issue where if you went into the properties for an audio device, this could make it unexpectedly show in the output devices list on system and sound, although it was actually an input device. And also in the accessibility settings for color filters, the inverted option should work correctly again. Now, and not just set your your PC to grayscale colors. And also another BSOD was fixed. Bug check with the code system thread exception not handled in recent builds was fixed in this 25236 build. This is the build for today pretty much. We're going to have more info in the description below as I've said on how to enable the new task manager search into this build and also more info about this build regarding known issues and stuff like that. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.